Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to use Story Flint's world building Bible to organize your fictional world. So in this demo, I'm going to be building out the fictional world or the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So let's go into the characters database here and let's create a new major character. All right, we're going to call this major character Harry Potter. Okay, so he's already listed as a major character. Let's give him some parents. We're going to add James Potter. And then we're going to add Lily Potter. Okay, we're going to skip over children for now, but let's go down to related locations. So let's give Harry a location that he is related to. So we're going to create a new location here. We're going to call this location Godric's Hollow. All right, so we already have Harry as a related character to this location. Let's add another related character. And we'll call this character Godric Gryffindor. Okay, this character is a historical character. Let's skip his parents and children for right now. Let's give Godric Gryffindor another related location. We'll call this location Hogwarts. Okay, so let's go back to Harry. We went down that rabbit hole enough. All right, so we have Godric's Hollow as a related location for Harry. Let's add a couple of events to his timeline. So let's add an event here and we'll call it Harry Potter is born. We'll label this as a major event because he is our major character. Let's open this event up and add some more information to it. All right, this event was part of the first Wizarding War. It happened in 1980 in July. And the date was the 31st. Okay. So let's close out of that event. Let's add another event to Harry's timeline. All right. Let's label this event as Voldemort kills Lily and James Potter. He tries to kill Harry Potter, but the curse rebounds. Uh, let's let, let me spell rebounds correctly. On himself and destroys his body. All right. Let's label this as a major event as well. Let's go into here, add a little bit more details to this event. So this happened in the first Wizarding War. It was the year 1981. This happened in October, and it was on the 31st. So let's add some characters that we've already created. So to do that, let's add it here under the properties. We'll click on characters and we'll just add James and Lily. And then we'll add a location um, that we have already created, Codrix Hollow. 
Let's add another character to this event. So since this does involve another character, we'll create new here. And we'll call this character Voldemort. Tom Riddle. Okay, let's go back to Harry. Let's add a detail to Harry's character. Let's say when Voldemort tried to kill Harry and his body was destroyed, a piece of his soul latched onto Harry, making him a Horcrux. Okay. So Harry's already tied to this detail. Let's add Voldemort to this detail. Let's add this event to this detail. Groups, locations, let's add Godric's Hollow. And let's add a new world element to this detail called Horcruxes. Okay. Let's add some world elements related to Harry. Nimbus 2000. Give it short note here. And we'll select a category it is an item and an artifact. Let's add a couple more here. And let's tie the Horcrux to Harry. So we'll go up here to the top and we will add a new world element here. We'll add Horcruxes, we'll click this plus icon next to it. If we scroll down back to here, we'll see that Horcruxes has been added. Let's add a category to this world element. All right, so let's finish up building out Harry and let's go to building another rabbit hole in this world. Let's go to our locations database. And you can see here, we've already created two uh, locations uh, for Hogwarts and Godric's Hollow from us building Harry's profile. So let's start building uh, the Chamber of Secrets. Um, so we can do that by clicking this toggle arrow next to Hogwarts. And we can add a new sub item to Hogwarts called the Chamber of Secrets. Since the Chamber of Secrets is inside of Hogwarts, it would be a child location of Hogwarts. And while we're here, let's give these locations a type. So Hogwarts is a school, Chamber of Secrets is a landmark, Godric's Hollow is a town. All right, let's go into the Chamber of Secrets. So we already have our parent location already selected. Let's go down here and add some related characters. Click new. And we'll call this character Salazar Slytherin. He already has the Chamber of Secrets related to him. Let's add an already pre-existing location to his. Uh, we'll add it here. Let's add Hogwarts since he is one of the founding members. Let's add, he's a historical character and he does have children. So let's add a child to Salazar Slytherin. and he has Voldemort. Let's add an event to Salazar Slytherin's timeline. 
call this Salazar Slytherin builds the chamber of secrets. Let's actually open this page up. This event is a minor event. Let's open up this event to give it a little bit more information. Say it was built in the ancient era. Let's just give it a year of 1100. We don't know the month or the day of the month, so we can leave it like that. Let's add, let's scroll down here and add a few details to this event. Salazar Slytherin built the chamber of secrets to terrorize muggle-born witches and wizards. Okay. Let's add Salazar Slytherin to this detail. And let's add a couple of new groups or races to this detail. So let's add muggle-born wizards. Let's add pure blood wizards. Let's add the chamber of secrets to this detail. So let's go back to Salazar Slytherin. Scroll down here. You can see that detail that we just created is already tied to him. Let's add some world elements to his character. Let's add the basilisk. Give it a short note. And let's categorize this as fauna because it's an animal. Let's open up the Basilisk page here. Let's add a location that it's tied to. Say the Chamber of Secrets. Let's scroll down. Let's add a detail to the Basilisk. The Basilisk vision can kill anyone it looks at. If anyone looks at the basilisk indirectly, they are petrified. Okay. Let's go back to the Chamber of Secrets. So we have Salazar Slytherin added to our list of related characters down here. We have a detail about why Salazar Slytherin built the Chamber of Secrets, and we also have a world element already tied to it. So let's add an event to the Chamber of Secrets timeline. Let's call this the Chamber of Secrets was opened by Tom Riddle and he used it to kill Moaning Myrtle. Okay. Let's call this a major event. This was in the ancient era. Let's give this the year of 1942. We don't know exactly the month and the day of it, but that's fine. Let's add Tom Riddle to it, and let's create another character called Moaning Myrtle. So let's review all the different stuff that we've built out here in this demo. So let's make sure everything has its own type selected. 
So we'll hit, see here in these characters that we've created Harry Potter, Salazar Slytherin, Godric Gryffindor, but let's look at this hidden group. There's a couple of characters that have not had their type selected, so let's get them selected and organized. So James Potter is a historical character. So is Lily Potter. Voldemort is a major character. And Moaning Myrtle is a secondary character. All right. Let's check through our groups and races. So we have two created here from our building. Let's select types for them. All right, let's go to our locations. Let's see Hogwarts here, and if I expand this, Chamber of Secrets is right here. All three of these locations have a type selected, so that's good. Let's go to World Elements. So you can see here all the World Elements that we've created have all their categories selected. So let's go check on our events timeline. So you can see here all of our events have a type selected, and all of our events are sorted by in chronological order, so that way everything is neat and organized. All right, so let's go to our homepage and just look at everything that we've created so far. So you can see all the characters that we've created, our timeline of events over here, our world elements that we've created, also the groups and races that we've created, and also all the different locations as well. So I hope that gives you a brief overview of what you can do and kind of all the different rabbit holes that you can go down and how much time and fun you can have building your world, just going down all these little rabbit holes and figuring out and connecting all the different elements of your world. So have fun, happy building, and let me know if you have any questions.